Hi there! It's hard not to smile when you see a classic muscle car. These powerful monsters were created to not only take you from one point to another, but also to deliver a thrilling ride full of heart-pounding pleasure. Big, heavy, loud, and rough, they're all the wonderful things in muscle cars that you should love the American automobile industry for. And in today's video, you will learn about 10 legendary muscle cars, the appearance and power of which are amazing. 1968 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 The Ford Mustang cars modified by American racer and designer Carroll Shelby were the cherished dream of every true Mustang fan. Released in 1965 and 1966, the Shelby GT350 and Shelby GT500 models were not only powerful, but elegant and light, perfectly suitable for traveling. After a couple of years, the Shelby GT philosophy changed, and his cars actively participated in one sprint race competitions. So under the hood of the 1967 and 1968 Shelby GT500 was an engine with a capacity of 625 horsepower and a volume of 427 cubic inches. The engine is aligned with a six-speed manual gearbox designed for drag races. The increased body length and more aggressive appearance of the car favorably distinguished the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 from the 1965 GT350 models. 1970 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 Chevrolet Camaro, the iconic American passenger car, manufactured by the Chevrolet division of General Motors Corporation. Cars of the second generation were produced from February 1970 to August 1981. The standard Sport Coupe model could be supplemented with the special design package Rally Sport RS or equipped with more powerful engines performed by the Super Sport SS. In parallel with the release of these modifications, a high-speed package was also released under the code Z28. No one advertised it or offered it, and it was not broadcast to the general public, but the Chevrolet Camaro Z28 model became the most famous for the entire existence of the brand. Package options for the Z28 included a special 5.7-liter engine with 360 horsepower, spoilers front and rear, and coloring in the form of racing stripes on the hood and trunk lid white for cars painted in dark colors, and black for cars painted of light shades. 1967 Chevrolet Impala SS The Chevrolet Impala is another iconic American full-size car, manufactured by the Chevrolet division of General Motors Corporation. The sports modification Impala SS Supersport was produced from 1965 to 1967 and won a crowd of fans. The body of the 1965 model was great by American standards and remained in service for a long time, but in 1967 it was restyled. The car received a more thorough sculptural study. The sidewall of the body was a bit smoothed, their lights were recessed into the grill, and large turn signals on the sides. The car began to look more harmonious and aggressive. The engine of the Impala 67 is also worth a look. It was a V8 with a capacity of 425 horsepower and a volume of 6.7 liters, which literally tore the asphalt from under the wheels. 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle LS6 When the company GM squeezed their previous requirements, prohibiting the installation of an engine of more than 400 cubic inches on medium-sized cars, in the American automobile industry there was a real boom of muscle cars. According to most conservative estimates, the power of the LS6 was 450 horsepower, but according to some experts, due to the high compression ratio and the huge Holley 78 CFM carburetor, the actual power of the LS6 was close to 500 horsepower. Employees of the magazine Car and Driver tested the car in 1970 and claimed it went from 0 to 60 in 5.4 seconds. How much faster do you think this car would be today with modern tires? 1970 Plymouth Hemi Cuda Plymouth Hemi Cuda was not a full-fledged model, but a sports version of the third-generation Plymouth Barracuda with a huge Hemi engine. As befits a true legend among racing cars, not many cars could compete with the 1970 Hemi Cuda. It was distinguished by its classic balanced appearance and engine, the frame of which was no less than the car itself. The heart was the legendary 426 6.9-liter block Hemi, 
fully cast iron, it possessed two valves per cylinder in hemispherical combustion chambers. The valves were driven by a single camshaft, and the twin exhaust system helped to fill the full power of the engine. The car accelerated to 60 miles per hour in a record 5.6 seconds, and the maximum speed reached was 117 miles per hour. 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge In the early 1960s, Pontiac was the leader in the manufacture of muscle cars. Often, the GTO is called the first muscle car, but by 1968, the car had too many competitors. Then there was the idea to create a cheaper version of the GTO with a smaller engine of 350 cubic inches. Chief engineer John DeLorme did not approve of this venture. In his opinion, the GTO could not have such a small engine. As a result, the new model was different from the traditional GTO. The judge was equipped with a 360 horsepower Ram Air 3 engine, but buyers could also choose the Ram Air 4 at 370 horsepower. The rarest was the Pontiac GTO Judge Ram Air 4 convertible. They released only 17 models in 1969. 1978 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am The 1970s for the muscle cars became a pale semblance of previous decades. Rising prices for fuel and insurance have forced manufacturers to restrain their passion regarding super-powerful cars. This affected almost all car brands, but not Pontiac. Their Trans Am has become a public favorite since the release of the 1977 film Smokey and the Bandit. The 455 engine with a volume of 7.5 liters and a power of more than 370 horsepower, which is deservedly considered the last of the number of legendary engines for the generation of muscle cars, was installed in the Trans Am version. And the WS6 Special Package added wider 8-inch wheels, new tires, and very sharp steering to the car. As a result, the Pontiac Firebird Trans Am has become much more agile and faster on the track than the Chevy Corvette. 1969 Dodge Charger RT The Dodge Charger is the iconic American car produced by Dodge Division of Chrysler Corporation. In 1969, the Dodge Charger was slightly modified from the previous 68-year version. External changes included a new grille with a split in the center and new taillights from designer Harvey Wynn. A new trim line called Special Edition was also added. In addition to further enhance the image of the muscle car, a new option package was added under the name RT, which meant road track. The RT index was placed only on cars with high power. The Dodge Charger RT came with a 440 Magnum or 426 Hemi engine. 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 429 The golden years of NASCAR came at the end of the 70s and the beginning of the 80s. Automakers were serious about racing and for the purpose of homologation, that is to participate in racing models. They should have produced at least 500 models, however, often producing models that were extremely dangerous for the streets. The Ford Mustang Boss 429 was a real beast. Its V8 429 cubic inches gave out 375 horsepower and 6,000 RPMs. But the engine was so massive that it did not fit into the classic engine compartment of the Mustang. Then Ford signed a contract with the company Carcraft to eliminate all interface. Specialists at Carcraft had to redo half the elements to make room and literally squeeze in the engine. Today at auction, the model 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 429 is sold for more than $200,000. 1970 Dodge Challenger RT The Dodge Challenger is a cult car designed to compare with cars like the Chevrolet Camaro, Ford Mustang, and Pontiac Firebird. Coupe models were offered in four versions, Challenger 6, Challenger V8, Challenger TA, and Challenger RT. The Challenger RT is a more powerful model with a Chrysler 383 Magnum V8 engine with a capacity of 335 horsepower. Additionally, the RT was equipped with the Chrysler RB440 V8 Magnum 375 horsepower. Chrysler RB440 V8 six-pack 390 horsepower and Chrysler RB426 V8 Hemi 425 horsepower engines. The Challenger RT was available in a coupe or convertible type body. The coupe in SE version could be ordered with a more luxurious body, which included leather seats, a vinyl roof, 
as well as a smaller rear window. And lastly, another great muscle car, 1969 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. This car was produced from 1967 to 2002. The year 1969 brought a few additions and adjustments to the Mercury Cougar. For the first time, the most productive package, Eliminator, appeared, which in the basic configuration came with a four-chamber carburetor and an eight-cylinder 351 cubic engine with a capacity of 290 horsepower. It was distinguished with a black grille, special bands on the body, front and rear spoilers, and a large air intake. The body was painted only in bright colors. That's all for today. Write in the comments which of these cars you like the most. And don't forget to put like if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.